Hi. Now in this last part of the question, we've got to find the exact area of R, giving our answer in the form A multiplied by the natural log of 2 plus B, where A and B are exact constants. So if you'd like to pause the video, if you haven't done this already, you can uh, come back when ready and just check your work solution with mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. Now, to find this exact area requires that we work out the integral of x to the power half, natural log of 2x, integrated with respect to x for values of x going from 1 to 4. And it says hence find the exact area of r because in the previous part we worked out by integration by parts what this integral was. It was in fact 2 thirds x to the power 3 over 2 multiplied by the natural log of 2x minus 4 ninths x to the power 3 over 2. But now we just need to put our limits in going from 1 to 4. OK, so if we now substitute for 4, wherever there's x, then what we've got here is going to be 4 to the power 3 over 2. So that's going to be the square root of 4, which is 2. We then cube it, which is 8. Multiply it by the 2, which is 16. And then you've got 16 thirds. And then here we've got the natural log of 2 times 4. In other words, the natural log of 8. We come on to this second term here, substitute x is 4 in. Again, we've got 4 to the power 3 over 2. So in other words, square root 4, which is 2, cube it, which is 8, and then multiply it by the 4 ninths, and you're going to get minus 32 over 9. OK, so that's the first two terms when we substitute x is 4 into there. Now we put 1 through. When x is 1, 1 to the power 3 over 2 is just going to still be 1. Multiply it by 2 thirds, then you've got 2 thirds times the natural log of 2. So 2 thirds, natural log of 2. And then put the 1 into here. 1 to the power 3 over 2 is still going to, going to be 1. Multiply it by the minus 4 ninths, and you've got minus 4 ninths. OK, let's just come down this next stretch. So we've got this area then. Let's just put that back. Area equals. Well, we've got to put it in the form something natural log 2. And we've got this natural log 8 here. So we can get around this problem because 8 is the same as 2 cubed. So we've got really here the natural log of 2 cubed. Let's just put that in. That's 16 thirds multiplied by the natural log of 2 cubed. Then we'll put minus 2 thirds. OK, minus 2 thirds natural log of 2. And then we've got minus 32 ninths minus minus 4 ninths. In other words, minus 32 ninths plus 4 ninths. And that's going to be minus 28 ninths. We might as well clean that part up. Now, you've got the power rule for logs here. Remember, if you've got a power, you can bring it out to the front. So you've got 16 thirds multiplied by 3 times the natural log of 2. OK? And then we've got minus 2 thirds natural log of 2 minus 28 ninths. So what happens here is that those two threes cancel one another out. Now what you've got now is 16 natural log 2 minus 2 thirds natural log 2. So if you change 16 to say 48 thirds, take away 2 thirds, OK, it's going to leave you with 46 thirds. So that first term then is 46 thirds natural log of 2. And then minus the 28 ninths. So you can see that we've got this in this format. If we were asked to work out what A and B were, not that we are in this example, but A would be 46 thirds and B would be minus 28 ninths. 
Okay, so I hope that's uh, helped you out if you had problems with that one. And that brings us now to the end of this question.